Okay friends, it's time to get started on replacing our upstream O2 sensor. That's going to be the one that's located closest to the engine right along the back side. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is make your way right over here along where the battery is and the firewall is. You're going to find that you have the connector for that O2 sensor. We need to go ahead and pry it out of its bracket carefully without damaging anything. Now once you have it out of there, the next thing that we're going to want to do is try to disconnect this. Right over on this area where my index finger is, there's a squeeze tab. You can carefully squeeze on that and separate the two areas. I'm just going to use a small pocket screwdriver for a little bit of leverage. We'll squeeze in there. Now once you have that squeeze, typically you can just go ahead and carefully pry this off. Once you have it disconnected, you want to make sure that you inspect the wiring connector. If you see any funny colors, it's corrosion and it would need to be dealt with. Now we can go ahead and follow that O2 sensor wire along to where it connects into the battery. Essentially, it's securing points. We want to go ahead and pop it right out of there. There we are. Now you can go ahead and follow that wire all the way down to where it connects onto your exhaust manifold. Keep in mind, you do not want to touch that O2 sensor if your exhaust is hot. Now along the back side of the engine, we're going to continue on with our O2 sensor socket. You can see looking at this that it has a slot that's meant to go around that wire. We'll go ahead and put this right over the O2 sensor. Now once we have it over that, we're going to go ahead and turn this counterclockwise to break it free from the manifold. Go ahead and completely unscrew that and remove it. There it is, friends. Okay friends, now it's time to start installing our brand new upstream O2 sensor. To install this, you want to make sure that you go ahead and turn it in by hand to make sure that it's started in without cross-threading any of the threads. All right, once it seems as though it's bottomed out, continue on tightening it. Keep in mind that there is a crush gasket on it, so you need to make sure that you go ahead and tighten it just enough that it crushes that gasket down. All right, double check to make sure it's completely secured. Let's go ahead and connect in our electrical connector. We're gonna listen for a click. There it is, give it a nice tug. You wanna make sure this is 100% secure and it can't fall off while you're driving down the road. Now we can go ahead and take this and put it into its mounting position. Slide it right in there and make sure it's completely secured. Go ahead and follow that wiring. Make sure that's secured as well. There we are. Now you just want to double check everything. Make sure the wiring isn't hanging anywhere where it could get caught on something. After that, go ahead and start it up. Take it for a road test. Make sure you don't have any check engine light. Thank you for watching.